This is a small review, actually more of a comparison between the three microphones I have. Uh, this one is the B1 from Behringer and this other one, the black one, is the USB producer from M Audio and the white one is the Snowball from Blue Microphones. I'm recording with all three microphones at the same time. This is the first microphone, this is the second microphone and this is the third microphone. Um, I don't have a pop-up filter for all three microphones so I didn't use for any of them. Um, Blue has something inside that it's similar to a pop-up filter but not very effective. Um, uh, so you may hear some distortions when I'm close to the microphone. Uh, test microphone 1 test microphone 2 and test microphone 3 okay this is the first microphone this is the second microphone and this is the third microphone this is the first microphone this is the second microphone and this is the third microphone this is the first microphone this is the second microphone and this is the third microphone this is the first microphone this is the second microphone and this is the third microphone. I will open these two microphones, the Behringer and the M Audio. So you can see how they are built inside. The Blue Snowball was uh, reviewed in a, an older video so you can watch that. As you can see the PCB doesn't look too bad, I don't see any problem with it. Uh, there are two PCBs, one on one side and the other on the other side of the microphone. And you need to remove uh, another three screws to get to the uh, microphone capsule. As you can see, it's a fairly large capsule. I'm not really an expert in microphones, so I cannot give you more details about this microphone. As you can see, the size is about 3.5 centimeters. Uh, on the outside of the capsule and uh, inside diameter it's about 25 millimeters or one inch. Now the M Audio is an USB microphone. It has an input and an output. Uh, input from the microphone and output to a um, monitor. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can use for headphones or uh, monitors and but um, sound from the microphone goes to PC via USB and then it will come back to the monitor output so it will be a lot of delay it's, an, it's not a live monitor so it's not very useful As you can see it's, it has a similar construction as the Behringer. Uh, the PCB is mounted on a metal frame. And there is a, another smaller PCB. Where the USB connector is directly soldered. On that PCB. Maybe you can see here. The 
the microphone it's uh, much smaller than the one in Behringer uh, and as you can see there is a transistor or an IC a kind of driver for the microphone that it's directly soldered onto the microphone probably so they don't have long traces and uh, so they don't get a lot of noise not sure and as you can see it's about 14 16 millimeter something like that I will show you how I've done to record multiple microphones at the same time in Linux you need to open Alsa Mixer check how many audio devices you have each USB microphone will appear as a separate sound card and in order to use uh, multiple sound cards you use these commands Alsa out for uh, output audio and Alsa in for input audio like uh, microphones or other input devices and uh, when you've done this you will be able to see these uh, sound cards in uh, jack audio and with jack you will be able to connect uh, each sound device to a channel in uh, ardor so you will be able to uh, record as many input devices or microphones you want in uh, separate channels in Ardour or other audio recorder that you you like to use I apologize that this video was a bit uh, short and not very detailed I was a bit uh, busy lately and um, I also have some more videos that I need to edit and upload I uh, hope to do this soon and um, Thanks for watching this video and uh, see you next time.